Hey Aquarius, welcome to my channel. This is the mid-month of March 2021 love and general opportunity reading session for you Aquarius. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine. I hope you're safe wherever you are right now. This reading for today is for the Aquarius friends out there. What can I get for Aquarius please? What is the love opportunity reading? And what is the general opportunity reading for Aquarius? What's coming forwards, Aquarius, please? What can I know? What's ready for them to know, okay? This is the mid-month or the last two weeks of March 2020. You've got a jumper card, so let's take that. This is for you. Before I start, Aquarius, um, I would like to thank you for coming back. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here today. Guest viewers, if you haven't, click the subscribe button and the bell. Please do it now if you are interested and if you are keen and if you would like to further support my channel. All of the details is down in the description box below. In there, you'll find the details of my Instagram account. Connect with me there, please. Um, check out the website. The website will have some of the blog articles that we have uploaded recently. There is a new moon in Pisces tomorrow. We have already uh, uploaded the blog. It's really interesting. New moon energy. So if you would like to connect... To the new moon energy the blog is up already in the website uh there is an affirmation and rituals that you can follow if you're interested and if you are keen okay so this is the mid-month reading for you this will include love reading and general opportunity reading okay so let's start the reading okay you've got here the knight of pentacles in upright position the empress card in reverse the knight of swords in upright position there is someone from your past, okay? It's been a long, long time or it's, it's, it is quite a long wait or there was a queue or there was a moment or an element of waiting, okay? I feel like this is a love energy. It could be someone overseas. It could be a romantic, it is a romantic person. There is an element of this could be someone overseas or there is a distance between the two of you. Um, this person is finally going to reach out. I see this person coming back, reaching out, calling, texting you. There's some sort of moving forward. And you feel so glad that this person have returned your call, your text. And that you are getting attention from them again. Knight of Pentacles. It could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, there is a twist in this person's return um this person is very relaxed the 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 energy the energy that this person brings towards you aquarius it's relaxed it is gonna start into something casual and friendship and then it will build up into something romantic so the red flag i'm getting in here is the empress card the knight of swords don't push them away um don't give them reason to pull away or to run away or to avoid you um this person is all about um taking things slow steady and um slow but surely kind of energy the empress card in reverse if you aquarius get things into a rush or try to steer the conversation or the communication or the connection into something quite a level up that isn't that isn't ready they might pull away okay so the approach is be very balanced um you know it's casual it's friendly it, it it's casual it's friendly it will get there okay you have a future with this person but Whenever this person feels like you're overtaking or you're leading the conversation or you're kind of steering the communication or relationship into something of an outcome that you want, they are put off and they will run away. Okay, so take it easy, slow but steady, slow but surely from casual, it will build up to something friendship and then you will become close with this person. So this is like from now up until May. I'm seeing a duration of um, March to May. So be very patient. You've waited for this person to come along, um, to text you, to message you. You've waited for this moment. You know, it has arrived. So take care of this opportunity. 
Then the second reading is you've got the Two of Pentacles, the Temperance card, the Five of Wands. I really feel like this is related to here. Um, Two of Pentacles, someone in the past will return again, okay? This is this is a very solid return, okay? There is, it's a promising return. I'm getting like this could be an ex, this could be someone you dated, but there is two opportunity, it's quite strong, two love opportunity coming your way. It is scheduled to happen uh, this month of March. It is a solid return. They are aware of what they want from you. It's divine timing. It really is very warm and it feels very healthy. It seems to be that this person have already moved on from the past. And they really want to um, compromise, you know. It's a sure, it's a sure comeback. It is a sure return. It is... It's a person who you don't have a competition. They don't like drama. They don't like competition. They just want to get straight on to, you know, being comfortable with you again, being friends, being more than friends, and getting things into something romantic. So steady, easy, and go with the flow, okay? And then the last reading is you've got the full card in reverse, there's something to do with, um, I don't know, travel or swap. Um, I think you will swap your property with a small property or a big property. There's something of a huge decision making that you've been wanting to do. It's kind of a feeling of leap of faith. Like it is related to the place where you where you live or the work, the place where you work. Um, you might not need it, you know, it could be, it, it's something that you might purchase, a leap of faith purchase, um, some sort of emotional purchase that I'm getting in here, um, you will, you know, for the sake of being modern, you will trade your, you know, granny house or that house of yours into something modern and then you will realize that you actually don't fit or you don't like the, 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 the modern part of it. Um, like you're trying to be funky or in, in to the trend, something like that. Um, it's a big decision making. I feel like, um, do not let peer pressure or the trend persuade you to go after this just because it's trending or just because your, your friends have this property or they all have it or, you know, like the social media peer pressure it's pushing you or it's influencing you to buy this to do this or to be to be like this to do something that it's trending it's it's something that it's not it's not you it's it's not your authentic self you might regret it okay so i really feel like you know stay within your roots stay within your authentic self okay so that's uh that's the first reading the second reading in a general part is that you've got a queen of cups there's a female personality um i'm really getting like you might be in this is so funny you might get a haircut or you might get a haircut or you might get something of a physical appearance that you would like to change or try um, this female personality can assist you to do it, but, um, make sure that you are, because I'm really feeling like it's, hap it's going to happen in a salon or in a makeup, in a barber shop. Um, make sure that you, when you talk together, you watch how they cut your hair or how they do the, the makeup, because you might. You might be liking their personality because they're talkative, but you, you could be distracting on how they're giving you the haircut or the hair color. It's something to do with your appearance. You like the person, but because you're you're talking so much, they wouldn't they they, they weren't able to focus on the thing that they're to do and it kinda epic fail. So make sure that if you're gonna do <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Like, like in the next two weeks, if you're going to do something about a hair appearance, hair, um, an improvement about your appearance, it could be hair, it could be makeup. Make sure that you do not 
I'd say, be so talk active with that person because they might be distracted and it might cause you something on your look, okay? It's so funny. Um, randomly pick up that energy. And then the last card is the tower card is in reverse. Um, it's relating to your pet or grooming your pet. This is also grooming. Um, it's related to taking care of something. It could be a pet. It could be that you might be babysitting. Um, make sure that you can do or you can... Because someone's gonna help someone's gonna need help in the next two weeks. A friend of yours, a close friend of you. Also, there's an element that you might be trying to impress someone, but someone is gonna needing a babysitting, a help. And make sure that you can or you know how to babysit or to help. There is a help coming. Okay, there is a request to help someone in the next two weeks. It is quite a responsibility. Make sure that if you commit to help that or them, make sure that um, you can really do it or you are expert to that because it might cause chaos in your home or in something disruptive within you that you might regret it that you should not have helped them. So yeah, it's more of pleasing or you're trying to please or you're trying to impress someone like you know, you need to look after yourself first before you assist, assist someone because it might lead to some sort of disappointment, you know. So this is you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here today. I hope you liked the reading. If you do, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell and I'll see you soon again, guys. Bye-bye.